friends if you are new and if you are a faithful friend thank you for coming home you guys I promise you it seems like every weekend i have something that i have to, to do um, this weekend is good uh, actually it's my youngest daughter's birthday and so we've just been running some errands in preparation we are actually going to surprise her she has been wanting something forever and i have been re resisting it for as long as i can because you guys know i already have a zoo around here and i have been resisting it but um i feel like for this birthday i'm caving in so i'll show you her surprise because my grandbaby is here and we're trying to hide it from her she's right there so she doesn't spill the beans so i'll show you what my daughter is getting and then i will i need to run a birthday cake may take you along with me for that and um we'll see what else but i'm gonna get ready and get off of here because my grandbaby has that tv on in the background with that music and i don't want to get copyrighted so let me take you guys and show you the surprise I just realized i'm matching this piece of wall art that I did. I don't know how I feel about walking around looking like a piece of wall art. <laughs> Anyways, let me take you in here so I can. <laughs> lizard! Lizard! Oh, back, you guys. Back. That lizard has been in my house. I was watering my plants the other week and that thing was in one of my plants. And I have been looking for him. And he is laid out like I know he is out of nourishment. He's <laughs> put him outside. He is still flat on his back. He can't move, but okay, so let me show you the surprise for my daughter. Let me show okay, you. Okay, so this is her surprise. Let me see if I can. I have one of my cats here that's. You want to see? You need to be nice to him. You guys, look at him. Isn't he cute? Let me let this. Oh, isn't he so cute? It is a Netherland dwarf bunny. So we have him in here. We have I ordered a huge cage for him and everything. We just picked him up and I have um, a big old bale of hay for his digestion. We have pellets for him to eat. Um, all the family's coming over because we're taking her out to dinner. She's at work right now. We're taking her out to dinner and um, everybody's coming over with her gifts and everybody got stuff for the bunny. So, yeah, I can't be in here too long because my grandbaby come looking for me and she will definitely tell. So, I'll let you see him better when she actu we actually give him to her and he's out of the cage, so. Okay guys, so we're on our way to go and pick up the cake. Um, so, I don't know if the sound is pick picking up. I have my, my Earpods in, earbuds, earbuds in, but um, I don't know if my car picked up or not. So if it did, you guys will just see me moving my lips. <laughs> Let me turn off my Bluetooth. But anyway, we're heading to Publix to pick up the cake, and I'll see you guys when we get there. Okay guys, so we're back from Publix. I just picked up a, a small cake and a few cupcakes. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. And then I, um, yeah, and we bought a balloon. So I have that set up over there. If you guys can see, there's a balloon. And then on the table, there's cupcakes and Anyway, a really cute small cake and some cupcakes. Her actual birthday's tomorrow. I don't know if I'm if I said that in the earlier clip, but her birthday's tomorrow. It's so hot, you guys. I'm I'm wore out just from walking outside. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I got that done. So it's gonna be time for me to go pick her up from work um, here in a little bit. So I'm gonna go do that, and then that'll give her time to come home and get changed and showered and ready to go out to dinner so excited about that the, the reason we're not doing it tomorrow we have church tomorrow and then after church we'll have dinner 
and then after dinner we have a baptismal for church and so we'll be doing that and then after that we will come home and probably maybe have a movie night or something like that um, so yeah we're, we're gonna go out um, for dinner today so works out because it's Saturday and I already have dinner on for tomorrow well the meats I have I'm cooking um, a small roast and then I'm also doing the um, instead of usually I'll do my roast like is the is it what is it they call it the Kentucky roast or, or whatever where you have the um, the brown gravy the Italian dressing ranch dressing and then the pepper chili peppers um, so usually I do that but I I'm doing my roast and I'm doing it different like you know I have another recipe that I do for roast so I'm doing that and then I have the chicken that I'm gonna do is I'm doing it the, Ken the Kentucky chicken so I, uh, again I just have some boneless skin lift you can use any you can use breast if you want to use breast but I had um, some boneless skinless chicken thighs on so I using those and I mixed a packet of um, the ranch dressing a packet of the Italian dressing and I didn't have brown gravy usually with the roast you do brown gravy but I didn't have a packet of brown gravy but I had a packet of turkey gravy which is perfect because it's chicken and so I just mix all that all the powdered ingredients up in a bowl sprinkle that over the top of the chicken and then I take the pepperoni peppers sometimes when I'm doing the roast that way I'll use the whole pepperoni peppers but um, for this I used the um, diced um, slight they're already sliced Italian seasoned um, pepperoni peppers those are so good so use those instead and so I have those on in the slow cookers just cooking slow for the rest of the day I actually have the chicken on timer so it's only gonna cook for a couple of hours and then the roast, um, the slow cooker that it's in doesn't have a timer on it. I'm just, and it's roast, so I just want to let it get tender, and then when it does, I'll turn it off. So, have those on, and I'm getting ready to go and pick up my girl, and I'll probably bring you guys along um, just a little bit for when we go for dinner. Not a lot, because I, you know, I eat dinner and enjoy being with my family, um, but I'll definitely let you guys see. Um, when she sees her surprise y'all I, I, I feel like she's gonna bust out crying or hit the floor or something because she has been asking and asking and asking for the last couple of years if not longer and I have consistently said no <laughs> we have a zoo <laughs> so I have consistently said no 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 we're not doing that we're not no no what we're we gonna do when we travel this is that and the other but I did my research to see what the smallest, I don't want to say the word out loud because little this thing is open a bit, to see what the smallest breed is and it is the Netherland Dwarf and um, then I had to go on a search to try and find someone that bred those in my area and they were all south of me like hours away and I was like oh lord I cannot <laughs> do this and um so I kept searching and searching and God is faithful y'all he is so good when it when the time it see all the other times she asked the timing wasn't right but this time the timing was right and everything just played out I was able to find someone in the area one person that just happened to have um, three and um, so they were actually going to the feed store where they get all their feed and everything for their the other because they have more than just those they have other animals as well so I told them that I'd meet them there this morning and I did and I was able to get it and as you guys saw it's absolutely just adorable anyway she's gonna be so surprised so I'm getting ready to go pick her up from work and I will see you guys when we start the other part of the festivities <laughs> day to you happy birthday to Gifts and then go to dinner. Open that one first. <laughs> oh my God. Well, 
Oh, you added it to the group. Please, <laughs> <laughs> it's in my shenanigans we had a really good time that last clip was my son and his fiance and my um oldest daughter putting together the bunny's um cage so he has quite the setup it is a three-story cage. it's it's perfect um it's on casters so my daughter can move it around sweep around it if she needs to and so yeah and he's doing wonderful and she's doing wonderful with him so we're excited about that so it is actually the day before the 4th of July it's July 3rd and um, tomorrow is the 4th of July and I'm gonna do some um, cooking for the family we'll probably eat hang out by the pool and all that good stuff so I won't I will not um, video tomorrow I'm just gonna celebrate the 4th with my family and be in the moment um, but I will show you now that I'm going to just, um, decorate just a little bit for the 4th of July for tomorrow. I don't go all out. I usually do a few things on the, on the, um, out front and then I do, um, you know, I'll do just a few things here on the inside, mainly in the, um, kitchen area in the dining room area where we're where where cannot talk today where we will be eating so I will do that and then probably in the video with that um, so let's just decorate just a little bit because um, it's one day and it's just for tomorrow for my family for us to be in the spirit of decorating for the fourth and celebrating the fourth so let's get decorated
you are new, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button and subscribe. You guys, don't forget to enjoy all the little things. It's the little things that give us the sweetest, prettiest little pleasures. And you guys have a great 4th of July. We'll see you next week, guys. Bye-bye.